Netzwerk Raumgesundheit Berlin in englischer Sprache uns bringen. The Women's Health Network and the Arbeitskreis Frauengesundheit, the German Right Association for Women's Health. I would like to let our English speaking friends know that we are demonstrating here today against any efforts by the government or by anyone else, for example, the people with the white crosses over here to restrict women's control over their reproductive choices by making abortion illegal or unaccessible. The family planning of women and men must be their own free decision without any type of discrimination. Making abortion illegal will never stop women from having abortion. This is a historical fact. About 20 million unsafe abortions are performed annually, the major part in developing countries, with about 40,000 dead women and millions of severe death injuries. The WHO, the World Health Organization, emphasizes the legalization of abortion and the training of medical personnel and the easy access to reproductive health services. This is because the WHO knows and declares women have always had abortions and will always continue to do so irrespective of prevailing laws, religious restrictions, or social norms. Making abortion illegal will only stop women from having safe abortions. The people who call themselves life protectors, who want to deny women's access to safe, legal abortion, have never visited the hospital wards of countries in which abortion is illegal. Wards full of women dying from LA abortions. Today, worldwide, eight women, eight women die each hour from unsafe, illegal abortions. Many of these women are dying because of the propaganda campaign of the people calling themselves life protectors and their followers who have organized this unbelievable demonstration today with these white crosses. In the USA, for example, these so-called life protectors did not hesitate to kill doctors and nurses who offered women safe abortion services. These life protection people better should fight for health education, access to family planning, and access to effective contraception in order to reduce the incidence of unsafe abortion, from which about 50,000 women die each year. These life protection people better should care of millions of children born worldwide to die from starvation, thirst and dehydration. In Germany we know from our terrible history how the government can influence the decisions of women and men for their parenthood planning. During the National Socialism in Germany, women were not allowed to have an abortion, they were punished. Whereas Jewish women or women in prisons have been forced to have an abortion. So the government denied the sexual rights of women. Now we demand, and this is not the first time, the abrogation of the paragraph 218 and the guarantee of sexual self-determination as a basic human right for everybody. Thank you.